Very well. All right. There. We should proceed onward. Finally through. Very well. Leave it to me.
Master Veen? Lady Sarah? Oh, but that just wouldn't do at all. Politeness toward those I serve is part of the Maid's Code of Honor. <laughs> or might you prefer something more like my dearest Reen? It's a pleasure to meet you. My name is Sharon. I was sent here to serve you courtesy of the Reinford family. I will do my utmost to cater to your every need. I hope I can be of service. Oh, the pleasure's all mine. Though if you don't mind my saying, you look a little familiar. Are you sure we haven't met somewhere before? I'm afraid we haven't. You certainly don't seem to be an individual one would easily forget. I look forward to serving you, Lady Sarah Valestine. Why, thank you, Sharon Kruger. Please don't worry about me. Well, I still have much to learn before I feel like I deserve my status among the nobility. I've been blessed with wonderful friends, and I'm enjoying life here at the Academy. I often feel more concerned for how you're faring in your own studies. Thor's Military Academy is well known for its connections to Emperor Dreykel's and its strenuous curriculum. And I worry that the dangers you face in your training could catch even you by surprise someday. I pray you don't neglect your own well-being. The world has many soldiers, but you're my only brother. Elise Schwarzer. charm once again. I'm coming to you live from Radio Trista, and it's 9 p.m. on this calm June 20th evening. Let's kick off this week's Aubin time. The weather around the capital has sure been wet lately, but not very wild. I thought that rain would never let up. Thanks to that, I ended up holed up in my room, even on my precious days off. Still, the end of June's just around the corner, which means summer festivals are in full swing across Erebonia. The festival out in the port city of Ordis is known for the breathtaking sight of hundreds of bonfires afloat on the bay. In the old capital of St. Ark, they know how to party hard with a festival that keeps going for five nights straight. Unfortunately, I've never been able to get out to either of them. I'm hoping to make it up to myself by taking the train to... Now, where would be the perfect place for this wayward traveler to visit? I'd love to visit Crossbell. Exploring its theme park and seeing one of Arkansas's theatrical performances would be great. But the thought of just riding to the end of the line and taking in the rustic beauty of the Nord Highlands is just so tempting. I know, Director, I know. Ah, is it too much to ask to let a girl dream big?
didn't do as bad as I was afraid I would. I can't believe Emma and Maki is tied for the top score. Congrats, Machias. You always put up some impressive numbers. I suppose. Emma's the real natural, though. Oh, not at all. We both just really hit those books this last month. I'm glad everyone did so well. Agreed. I scored higher this last time than I did on the entrance exam. I suppose I'll have to settle for third this time. <laughs> you make it look easy, Yusis. Looks like you and I managed some pretty respectable scores too, Reen. a bit left out. <laughs> you did really well, Fee. You must have had all the basics down pretty well to have scored like you did. If you can build on that in the next exam, I have no doubts you'll be able to score even higher. I guess. If I feel like it. By the way, there's something posted up over there. Oh, wow! It seems Class 7 had the highest average score. Excellent! I figure that might be the case, considering we have the Academy's top three high scorers. <laughs> you talk as if a class I'm a member of could possibly fail to place first. Why do you always have to be so full of yourself? Boys, boys! I think we should be proud of what we've accomplished. Hip hip hooray.
Well, doesn't this look like fun? Class one? What are they doing here? To what do we owe the pleasure of this visit? Class 1's combat training isn't until tomorrow. Oh, Instructor Thomas's class was changed to a self-study period today. So we thought it was the perfect opportunity for a little cross-class exchange, if you will. Class 7 seems to be the talk of the school lately. And we'd simply love the chance to get a little better acquainted. E exchange My, you're a sharp one, Schwarzer. Nothing gets by you. Why not try your steel against some real human opponents instead of that contraption over there? We'd be more than happy to serve as representatives of Class 1. Allow us, if you will, to demonstrate the refined spirit and dignity of the Erebonian nobility. You little pieces of... Cool your jets! They're just trying to goad us into a fight! I'd be very interested to witness this refined spirit and dignity you profess. Well, looks like I've found today's entertainment. Change of plans. Today's practical exam will be a friendly training bout between classes one and seven. The fight will be four on four with both arts and item use allowed. Green, you'll be squad captain, so choose three of your classmates for your team. Like you're all set then. Both teams, take your starting positions.
training bout between our representatives from classes one and seven. Combatants, weapons at the ready. Begin. I'll show you what real nobility is. Go! My turn. Whirlwind! To me! Leave it to me. How about this? My turn. My turn. My turn. 
turn. There! Leave it to me. How about this? Now! Here! Take this! My turn.
my turn. Leave it to me. All right. My turn. My turn. It's my turn. Victory is ours. Yeah, we showed them. Not bad. A passable performance. <sighs> that was some fight. We won. We really won. How does it taste choking down your own hubris? off me. Because Ymir's lord took you in out of pity doesn't change the fact that you're a nobody without a drop of noble blood.
<laughs> Your rank's gone up. Here's a little something from the Academy. <laughs> well done. Still, I couldn't believe it when I saw Nord Highlands written right next to our names. I wasn't ever expecting our field studies to take us that far out. Well, it does make sense, since it's an important place in the history of the Academy's founder, Emperor Dracos. Indeed, the Highlands are where he first began to solidify his military power during the War of the Lions. That's about the extent of my knowledge of the Highlands, to be honest. No worries. I'll tell you more about Nord on the way there. Anyway... I hope you're all ready for a long trip. The train ride between here and there is over eight hours. Eight hours? That's almost an entire day's journey. It sounds as though the experience will be more than worth the trouble, though. By the time we get there, it'll probably be evening already. You think we should go stock up on some snacks before we leave? <laughs> There'll be no need for that, Lady Elisa. Good morning, Sharon. We're almost ready to head out to the station. Oh, of course, of course. I hope you all have a safe journey. I would also be very pleased if you would accept this. What is it? I took the liberty of preparing some sandwiches for all of you, as well as a pot of lemon tea for each group. I'm afraid I wasn't able to fix a proper breakfast, so I hope you'll enjoy these on the train instead. <laughs> Thank you so much. We really appreciate it. Such a thoughtful caretaker. We'd be more than happy to accept them. Oh, think nothing of it. Any good maid would do as much. <sighs> well, well, everyone sure loves you, don't they? I guess my objecting to you being here just made you work that much harder to cozy up to everyone else. <laughs> I would never dream of such a thing. Please have a safe and pleasant journey, my lady. I'll be counting the hours until your return. Fine, fine, I'm leaving. Hold on. You aren't plotting anything else, are you? I haven't the slightest idea what you're talking about. Yeah, if you say so. All right, we're leaving for real this time. Have a safe journey. <laughs> Please excuse us. The dormitory's in your hands while we're away. Oh, looks like Group A just took off then. Good morning, Lady Sarah. Would it have been too much to see them off if you were awake this whole time? Their field study begins the moment they wake up on the day of their departure. So since I'm responsible for grading their performance, I figured it was best to leave them to their own devices. I see. You make a valid point. Just one question for you. When will you be returning? Ah, you truly are perceptive, Lady Sarah. I suppose there is no reason not to tell you. I will be returning before my lady and her classmates do. That's as much as I can tell you. I see. 